Hey guys, this is a very rare high power pistol and I'm gonna review the books to go with it. Okay, let's start off by talking about these books. I am gonna show you a couple guns because people get really upset with me when I just show you books and no guns. But if somebody said, I'm interested in collecting uh, German pistols, what's the best one to buy first? My answer would be, of course, buy a book. Um, I have in the past uh, recommended Axis Pistols by Jan Still. That's a good overview. But once you get into the details, such as uh, we did in Third Reich Lugers, or uh, you get into P38s, there are books that just detail information about specific areas of collecting. And I also learned something else after I wrote my book and I was out signing books. There are a lot of book collectors out there. That's right, I, I'm not a book collector. I use them as resources. And I put little, I, I fold the pages. I know some of you are cringing right now. I fold the page over when I want to note something and I write in the book. But there are guys out there who collect these books and these are among the finest uh, collector books I've ever seen. The quality, well, you're gonna come up close, but the quality of these books is far beyond anything I've seen before. Okay, this is a two volume set, you can see by Anthony Vanderlinden, and he also owns the company uh, that publishes it, which is uh, Wet Dog Publications. Uh, actually, here's, a, here's their website, you can see it does involve wet dogs. Uh, but they do have a number of other books that they publish. Uh, there's a, a few here. And then also we heavily use their Radom book. Uh, we have that on our, vi our, our site right now by William York. Uh, th this is a picture of that. That is the best book that I know of on the market if you collect Radoms. Uh, but this two volume set actually uh, follows up after this book, uh, which we have been selling. There were a couple editions since this is the third edition. I'm sure they had editions one and editions two. Uh, they did go out of print and the prices soared. Uh, we were selling them at surprising prices for a period of time. But finally, the third edition is out and it has tripled the information. If you have the earlier book, look, you can see how thick this is. Uh, the earlier book, this is almost three times as large. There's uh, two volumes, volume one, volume two, obviously. I'll show you the table of contents, but before I do that, this is like a, it's a hardcover, but it's a linen hardcover. Uh, so the quality is far beyond uh, my book. I'll just be straight up honest with you. This, the, the quality of this book is well above what, what, I, uh, what I published. I was trying to save money because I think a lot of collectors try to save money, but I did get feedback from book collectors that said, you should have spent a little more money and done a better quality job. Also, you can see that uh, this is like a, a, uh, it's a heavier paper and it's a full gloss, um, just will hold up really well. So these, these books will really stand up over time. Uh, you, so this goes all the FN Browning pistols. So, you know, it starts in the early 1900s. First of all, you do the history of the factory, uh, and then you've got the mo model 1900. 1903, and we're just kind of moving through. Of course, my favorite section, I, I'm sorry to be biased, but uh, my favorite section would be, well, they do, uh, we do sell a lot of the 1922 and uh, the model 1922, and then you can see the earlier versions of that with the different Waffen proofs and explain, explaining the serial ranges. You see the 613, the 103, and then of course later the 140 proof. Uh, we get into the high powers. Now, high powers have, been, have become more and more popular, uh, mostly due to states beginning to limit mag capacity. The high powers were one, uh, as far as I know, it was, you'd have to read the book, <laughs> uh, one of the earliest that, that used the stacked mags and had the high capacity uh, magazines. Uh, so this was, these are very popular and being banned in some states, so that actually makes sales go up. Whenever they ban something, sales go up. This is an early slotted gun, and I, I did have to read about this because I rarely see one. You, you probably think, oh, no big deal, I've, I've seen a lot of those. Well, you really don't. Before the Germans took over the factory, the, the, uh, the Belgian, the FN factory, they did uh, put the, the slot in there, and uh, that was for the... The slot was for the stock. I know they have, I'll show you some pictures. You can see that they were slotted and it, it included the stock and a holster. Uh, a lot of good color pictures here. During the German occupation though, they only the first uh, few thousand, they, they uh, kept the slot 
in there, but then they stop uh, making them. So most of them, by far, uh, I'd say 99% of them do not have the slot because they didn't really use the stock. Uh, they were a favorite among the German soldiers, though, because obviously the high-capacity magazine, uh, there's uh, more. That's a pre-war pre pre -war stock. Um, there's more pictures. So all that is to say the slot was common before the war, but under German occupation, they no longer did the slot. So if you add the slot, if you want to fake, and I don't, I don't know how they do it, but they evidently have the equipment to machine that stock in there. And so you need to know the ranges, and they also tells you how to spot a fake. There's, uh, there's information in here how to know whether or not this is fake. And so this slotted will go from a $3,500 gun to a $6,500 gun just because of the rare slotted backstrap. Now, that leads me to this lesson. Here's a gun that I got in and I thought, man, I'm, I'm really smart because I figured out right away, this is a late war gun in the B suffix. It has the late war grips. It doesn't have the tangent sight. You can see the difference here tangent sight or adjustable rear sight versus none. The Germans were interested in saving money, so they did away with all of that. It came in, I said, okay, late war, and then I see that slot and I go, aha, it's a fake. I felt very proud of myself, but that's why you need to buy the book. <laughs> because you can see right here, there's a slot. That's a late war slotted, and how the heck did that happen? Well, you read through it, and me being a Walder guy, not as much an FN collector, although, as I mentioned before, I love the German era pistols. Uh, this is slotted. This shows one pictured here. And in fact, this is the serial number. If you look right here, the last one on the list matches this. So this, is, uh, this gun is mentioned in the book by serial number. So this is a late war gun, it is slotted, and the explanation makes sense. Again, being a Walder guy, at the end of the war, they used up old, rejected parts from the early in the war. They were running out of uh, materials. Uh, they were hurrying up production. And so they took some of the old frames, uh, maybe even rejected frames, and they used them in the end of the war guns. This is still a beautiful gun. It'll be 140 proofed. Uh, the earlier ones were 613 proofed, and then 103, and then finally, the most common variation is the Waffen 140 proof. So this is an example of where I thought this gun was bad. It turns out it's a very rare variation and worth more than your standard FN Browning. Okay, I hope I have you convinced. A great book, great quality, even for a book collector, great quality book, great information, three times more than the previous book. If you own, own the earlier book, this is uh, a, a huge improvement. You can buy it off of our website and also the Radom book is on our uh, website. You can see that here. Uh, we, uh, that's also by Wet Dog Publications. And then this book is available on our website, but you can also go direct to uh, Wet Dog Publications. The link, which we've highlighted uh, here below, uh, Wet Dog Publications, check out all their books. Uh, but especially uh, the Radom book and this FN Browning book, brand new, hot off the presses, two volume set, well worth it.